Billers, with the record prices we've seen lately, thanks to the rain, um, and especially for black cattle, your clients must be really happy with what they've got. Yeah, we've been getting really good feedback actually. Um, you know, our bulls are going into a lot of black programs and adding a heck of a lot of weight and therefore dollars, yeah. Tim, more specifically, mate, how, how exactly are your genetics working with some of these commercial operations? Adding value, Ben, and uh, just simply uh, there's more weight um, when the animals are turned off and that's extra dollars in the pockets. Uh, there's um, increased fertility and then market suitability. Tell me, Henry, like in relation to the females, I've seen a lot of Angus black semi-female crosses and they're just fantastic. Beautiful yeah, the, and yeah. everything like that and, and, and really high in fertility. Yeah, no, they make brilliant mothers. I mean, the common quote is that they're the um, first cross you of the beef industry. Um, look, the, for you gain a heck of a lot of fertility through maternal heterosis and milking ability and in fact you get an extra 25% um, per cow per lifetime um, by utilising that um, uh, maternal heterosis. Fellas, black simis are still relatively new to Australia. Um, how do you see them fit in today's market? Ben, we've sold uh, bulls and females to Queensland, we've sold bulls into the Channel Country and New South Wales, Victoria and down through South Australia and into and Kangaroo Island. Uh, they fit very well and they've uh, adapted well to all those conditions. Look, what we've done with our program is we've tried to add as much softness as we can into the purebreds and then the, obviously the hybrid cattle carry that through a lot as well and this enables those cattle to um, you know, finish um, alongside other cattle where in the feedlot at a um, just for a finishing, short finishing. Uh, they're great for long feed obviously. They're being grass fattened, um, wiener calves are being bought and grass fattened over in the Gippsland. Um, so there's a real variety of um, uh, uses for these cattle and where, where they're really excelling. Um, well Tim, tell me a bit about, I mean obviously there's the, the players like Coles and Woolies and other people, are, what's your market acceptance with companies like that? Well, a lot of our clients are selling into Coles, Woolworths and Hardwicks, doing a Vila job with, um, with Hardwicks. Um, they're also they're very popular in the EU type of market where they grow them out to a little bit bigger on, and on from uh, grass. So um, they, they accept it well right through. And tell me, with MSA being so important today, you know, how are you cattle grading MSA boys? Again, we've had some good feedback from clients that have um, scored exceptionally well on the MSA grading. So, yeah, they hit the spot. Yeah, good. Well, fellas, um, best of luck for the bull, sir. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Cheers.